You requested it. Today I'm going to be trying every single kind of ketchup I can get my hands on to see which one is the best. And it may not be the one that you think it is. Guys, I spent $35 on a ketchup. And you know what's even worse? It came expired and I'm still gonna eat it. There are so many types of ketchups in the world and a lot of them I have never even seen before in my life. So I'm kind of excited if you're new here. I think you should catch up on what we do on this channel. I love food. I do a lot of these ranking videos. I'm also throwing something weird into the mix. A lot of you believe that McDonald's ketchup needs to be in the running, even though I think it's Hunt's, but a lot of you say it doesn't taste like Hunt's, it's special. So I'm even gonna be testing McDonald's ketchup, okay? Lucky for me, I love ketchup because I think this would be someone's nightmare. I actually had ketchup this morning on my hash browns. <sighs> I'm a true fan, clearly. Oh, where do I start? Should I expose myself right now? I mean, not like my naked body, but my habits. This is Heinz. I already have this in the fridge. This is my ketchup of choice. I guess, but I'm going to approach this video with a very unbiased opinion. I think it's only fair to start with some of the most interesting flavored ketchups. This is Heinz Jalapeno Ketchup. I think this is not the best way to eat these. Oh, oh. I'm gonna have to be really honest with you. The flavor of Heinz is solid. It's right there, it meets you where you're at. The jalapeno, to me, is just hot. There isn't additional jalapeno flavor. It's good, it's just spicy. All right, let's try the Heinz hot and spicy. Oh yeah, I'm getting better at this. More flavor. Oh, this has Tabasco in it. This one has a lot more flavor than the jalapeno one. I would prefer this one over that one if you want a spicy ketchup. Moving into the truffle ketchup. I spent $35 on this ketchup. I shouldn't have because it came expired. I could send it back, but we're here, you're here, I'm here, we're all here together. I think we should just try it anyway. It expired almost three months ago. I feel, I don't know, I think that's fine. I don't know, it has chunks in it. it smells so good. Is that black? black mold or is it black truffle? Hey babe, yeah. I have a ketchup that expired three months ago. Do you think I should eat it? Uh, no. no? Three months was a long time ago? It feels just like yesterday. I'm gonna try it anyway. I loved that. Y'all, even expired, that was delicious. It tasted so pure, like pure bacterial mold growth. No, just kidding. It tasted so rich. I mean, it tastes like a $35 ketchup. I wanna take a second bite, but I'm not going to because I can only make one or two bad choices every video. I have another truffle ketchup that is not expired. This is called Truffle Pig Black Truffle Ketchup. How to use, as if anyone needs to explain to me how to use ketchup. Okay, there's also chunks in this, so that makes me feel a little bit better about the chunks in the expired one. She's glowing with deliciousness. Mm. It is really good. There's just something about the other one that tastes like money. However, if you like truffle, I do think this is a really good one. And it has a pig on it. To all of my Whataburger stands in the world, Whataburger is a restaurant, a fast food restaurant in Texas. And people who like Whataburger, they're in a cult. <laughs> they will live and die by Whataburger. I actually have tried Whataburger with Matt on this channel before in the past. I do think their burgers are delicious. Super good. I don't remember thinking the ketchup was all that. But you know what? This is a new day, a new year, a new dawn has dawned, dawned. And I'm gonna try both the Whataburger fancy ketchup and the Whataburger spicy ketchup. They make their own ketchups, guys. That's a legitimate commitment to the ketchup community. Oh, oh, every time. This is the Whataburger fancy ketchup. It's good, it's not as sweet as a Heinz. It has a lot of depth in there. It's better than how I remember it. Okay, I take it back. That's a pretty good ketchup. It's a pretty solid, delicious ketchup. It's not too sweet, it has like a nice peppery vibe going on. See, you do grow as a person. Next is the spicy ketchup. Now this is the ketchup to beat, apparently. Everybody thinks this is the best one. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Excuse me. That is so clearly a jalapeno flavored ketchup. It is spicy, but not too much heat. It's actually not as much heat as the Heinz jalapeno, but much more pepper, spice, and flavor. I don't know if it's still the best ketchup in the world, but it is really unique and fun. I feel like I've gone somewhere and done something cool today. I'm about to put you onto something. Actually, I hope I am. So many of you said that your favorite ketchup was Kroger Original Tomato ketchup and you guys are living for it. Uh I am so bad at my job. All right, I can tell right now it's not as dark. It looks like it has like some tomato chunks in there. Oh, 
You know what's interesting about this? It tastes like restaurant ketchup. It kind of tastes expensive. There's something really nice about this. It tastes more like a, a less sweet, more savory. That's a very good ketchup. I think I should take 10 more bites of this. That was good. <laughs> It's nice down here. Uh, there are so many of these. Probably a spare a few, right? <laughs> this one was another super popular one. This is the Portland ketchup. A lot of you loved this ketchup. Oh, are you handing me? That is so kind. Something like this, there's no way I can squeeze this out. I just gotta go full throttle. Big dipper. This, y'all, is chunky. Look at, look at her. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so good. It's really good. Go in deep. Get in there. Move her around. Shake it around. Give it a swirl. Mm, like that's different from a normal ketchup. It's yeah. almost like a barbecue meat yeah, ketchup. Yeah, it's kind of barbecue. Reminds me a little bit But when I say sauce. that, I don't like barbecue ketchup. Yeah, but there's something, maybe it's like there's more, maybe there's some vinegar. In, I don't I don't know. It's more uh, tomato-y. Yeah, maybe it's ayahuasca or something in here. It's this is G. Hughes' original recipe, award-winning sugar-free ketchup. Matt's standing next to the camera watching, so I feel like I have a live studio audience. <laughs> She's decorated well. This tastes like Christmas. Is it like cinnamon? Yeah. Oh, it does have sucralose in it. It's super sweet, but it's not like, you know, real sugar. So it has like an interesting kind of aftertaste to it. It's really good. You should try it. I need your talent. I'll pay you in french fries. There's just so much talent in one room right now. We're talking about Benji. <laughs> That's very different. Doesn't it's it taste different. like Christmas? Doesn't it have like an essence of like cinnamon or nutmeg or something? Okay. The aftertaste. The aftertaste hits you kind of a little bit the later. The aftertaste is like, eh. There is like a, a warm freshness to it. It's all that cinnamon that it's not in the ingredients. There's, there's no cinnamon. <laughs> Have to move into the primal ketchup. My management team all swear by this and say this is their favorite ketchup because it's not too sweet. She's a little bit thicker in consistency, not quite as smooth as some of the others. Hmm. Patara Edward, I love you all. Deeply, truly, madly. I would marry both of you if I wasn't already married and you guys were interested in marrying me, but you're not. This is just good. It needs a little more more, a little more sweetness, in my opinion. Maybe there's a not unsweetened version of this. It says unsweetened, so maybe I just got the one that's not the right one. It's a good ketchup, don't get me wrong. <gasps> Look what Matt did. It's a battle scar. No one comes out unscathed in my videos. This is the Tessame's organic ketchup. Now, I did a ranch video where I taste tested all the ranches, and one thing I remember about Tessame's ranch is that I did not really like it very much. I was also very ill during that time. It definitely smells more like a barbecue sauce. It's very dark in color. I don't think so. Don't you think still have that ketchup on your shirt. <laughs> I, I'm busy. Next is ass kicking ketchup with habanero. There's a lot of ass mentions on here because it's a donkey. Gives you a meatloaf recipe, my kind of people. This is also very dark. Hmm, that's weird, but good. It doesn't taste like ketchup, but it doesn't taste like barbecue sauce, which I appreciate. It tastes like its own new thing. Is it a good new thing? Yeah. To cart. That one I'm gonna say is too sweet for me. No. It's like a glaze. Do you <laughs> still have that ketchup on your shirt? Going into the Good and Gather organic ketchup. This is Target's brand. Oh, ah, don't do it, Benji. You will regret it. We will regret it when you start diarrheaing all over the place. That's good. Mm. This is more in the category of a traditional Heinz ketchup, Hunt's ketchup. There's something about this that tastes like it's its own version of ketchup, but it's not too far away from what you're used to tasting. I really like this one. Moving into the Sir Kensington's classic ketchup. A couple of you actually said you liked this one a lot. I didn't love the Sir Kensington's ranch, but the Sir Kensington fandom is real. <gasps> Hmm. It's kind of a nice cross between a ketchup and a barbecue with some extra different flavors in there. I feel like it wouldn't be my go-to grab-and-go ketchup, but I do think it's really good and delicious. It's, it is like so special. I'm very surprised at how much I liked this one. Another no sugar added ever ketchup. True made veggie ketchup. This has carrots, butternut squash, and spinach. Ooh, ooh I like the consistency. It's very smooth and creamy. Interesting. Okay, this is pretty good. This tastes more like a homemade ketchup. It doesn't taste sweet. It has a lot of flavor to it, and it's really good for you. This is a really cute story. True Made Foods was founded by a dad who couldn't get his kids to stop eating ketchup, so he made a better one. <laughs> I feel attacked. I did get the 50% less sugar and sodium version of the Kroger ketchup. Mm. It just tastes watered down. Give me the regular Kroger all day long. Moving into the Simple Truth Organic Tomato Ketchup, 50% less sugar and sodium. Things are
are starting to really stir inside of me emotionally and physically. Oh, I like this consistency a lot. It's not bad and it's organic. I thought it would be more of that sugar-free fake taste. It's not, it does taste more fresh. I think I like the True Made Foods version of the less sugar than this one, but for an organic ketchup, this is pretty bomb. Speaking of, I have the Simple Truth Organic, just regular tomato ketchup. Ladies, you don't need no man. I'm just gonna go all in. Forget the squeezing. She's ruining my floor. It looks like a toddler lives here. It's okay. I actually like the 50% less sugar version more than I like that one. After all that work, Heinz no sugar added ketchup is next. Oh, <laughs> okay. It's very vinegary, like a vinegar chip aftertaste to it. I gotta think about that one. So similar to the True Made Foods, this is the Heinz veggie version of the ketchup. This says kid approved taste. I need to know the ages of the kid. I need to know if they were able to communicate because just because a kid eats something doesn't mean they approve. Again, I need to talk to the kids. If it's my last day on earth and I'm having a french fry and grabbing the first ketchup I can grab, I don't know if it's gonna be that one. This is the Heinz sweetened with honey. Heinz is so delicious by itself that I don't know if Heinz even needed to get a version with honey. Some of you asked that I get the 365 ketchup. It's Whole Foods slash Amazon. I like it just to come out nice and easy like that. Oh, wow, that is beautiful. Hmm. There's more tomato flavor versus a ketchup flavor. This might be just a little sweet for me. This is where the real battle begins. Hunts versus Heinz, baby. This is Hunt's 100% natural tomato ketchup that is thicker and richer. Okay, I like that. I'm supposed to go. I'm starting to feel a little nauseous. I think it's good. I think if you want something that's a little healthier than regular ketchup and you really like your Hunt's ketchup, that will suffice. But if we're talking about the best ketchup, I don't know. I don't know. Let's talk about the Heinz Tomato Ketchup Organic Certified. I like this. This is really good. It really does just taste like Heinz, but just a little bit better for you. But it doesn't compromise the flavor. This is Hunt's best ever. Oh, it's good. It tastes like Hunt's ketchup. It's up there, it's up there. It's a very good, reliable ketchup. I don't know if it's as good as the regular Hunt's. Guys, it is time, the showdown between Heinz tomato ketchup and Hunt's tomato ketchup. This is a very polarizing subject. I'm going to mix them up because I really wanna be surprised and tell you which one is the best one. So I'm not looking. Here is the first one. I think I know which one that was. The flavor is just too iconic. Here's the next one. It's Huns. Guys, I have to tell you, I like both of them equally. I know that's controversial, but I really truly grew up eating both of those ketchups and thinking they're so close. Heinz is a little bit sweeter. Heinz is a little tangier, but they're both so good. I don't know if I can pick one over the other. Everyone gets a participation trophy. Before I rank all of my favorite ketchups, I wanted to do a taste test of the Hunt's ketchup versus the McDonald's ketchup. Apparently McDonald's white labels Hunt's ketchup, but a lot of you think that it's actually better than Hunt's ketchup and it's the best ketchup you've ever had. To test this, I placed tape on the bottom of this plate. I have added both ketchups and I have no idea which one is which, which side is which. I've mixed them up with the french fry so the consistency doesn't throw it off and I'm going to taste test these two to see which one is the best. They both look really similar. One is smoother than the other. Okay, I'm gonna taste the other one. They're different. This one, the thicker one, is like more tangier, has more of a vinegar zing. This is sweeter. This other smooth one is sweeter. I'm gonna venture to say that's the McDonald's one because it's McDonald's and I like everything sweet, right? Aha, I was right. The McDonald's one does taste sweeter than the Hunt's and I actually think I might prefer it just a little bit better. Should I put McDonald's ketchup in the running? The verdict is in. I have chosen my top 10 favorite ketchups. Ranking these, I need it to be known. I kind of like Ola of them equally. I'm gonna put them in order, but truly, madly, deeply, I'm in love with all of these. 10th place goes to Sir Kensington's Classic Ketchup. It is a really nice pit style ketchup. In ninth place, we're going True Made Foods Veggie Ketchup. This is super yummy for something that is actually probably a little bit better for you. Next is the Good and Gather Organic Ketchup from Target. Delicious. In seventh place, Kroger Original Ketchup. This was so 
so good. The Kroger ketchup cult out there is strong and thriving for a reason. Next, I'm going with the regular, good old fashioned Hunt's tomato ketchup. All right, here's where it's gonna get interesting. <laughs> Number five, I am putting McDonald's ketchup in the running because after doing the taste test between McDonald's and Hunt's, I believe that this one is special and different. In fourth place, we are going with the organic certified Heinz tomato ketchup. I love Heinz regular ketchup, but the fact that it's organic puts it just a little bit ahead of the original. This is where it's gonna get controversial. In third place, I have Whataburger's spicy ketchup. I think there's something really special about this, and I honestly think Texans would murder me if this didn't make the top 10, including my husband. In second place is the expired $35 jar of truffle ketchup. This is otherworldly, multi-dimensionally delicious, and that was me eating it expired. My number one <laughs> favorite ketchup has caught me off guard. I am hot and bothered at how much I love it so much. The Portland Organic Ketchup. I don't know what else to say except please add to cart. I will link all of these down in the description below if you'd like to try out some of these new ketchups for yourself. I also have quite the hefty selection of honey mustards to taste test, so go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss that video when I upload it. What is your favorite ketchup? Oh, let me know in the comments. Thumbs up this video, share this video with your friends. Also, go follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I do a bunch of other food stuff over there. We did it. We found the best ketchups that you can buy, and I honestly am forever changed.